Greetings, I'm Dravian Glory and welcome to part 79 of my run through the British Gallic Roman Empire campaign in the Fireforged Empire's mod for Total War Attila. So, between the last part and this part, I've gone <laughs> right the way back to the start. I've restarted the campaign, played forward until we're in almost the same place as we were when the consumption struck uh, the last time through. I've even gone as far as taking Flavum and then pulling back from it to allow, uh, I think it's the Angles of taking it. Yep. Yeah. I didn't go as far as Angulus this time though. But uh, you've probably noticed we've already got consumption in here. And that's despite... Uh, so consumption came from uh, an enemy army that turned up with pestilence. As soon as it appeared, I set the edict to quarantine, but Augusta Trevorum uh, immediately contracted pestilence, and it's then spread to Duracurturum and Arturotomagus. It's even uh, via our trade route. Ah, oh, Constantinopolis must have managed to get rid of it. How did you do that? Because, yeah. Consumption had spread from, I think, the Rotomagus to Constantinopolis. I did get a message about that. No, maybe it doesn't show up here. Uh, disease spreads consumption, not that one. Maybe it was last turn. Anyway, whenever it did. I'm not lying. So, yeah, so just going to carry on from here. I'm a bit concerned that this is just going to end up the same as it was before and. Um, again, look at the sanitation is as high as I could get it. We've got an aqueduct which gives plus 12 sanitation to all regions in this province. Uh, it also gives plus 6 to adjacent, even though we've already got the balney in here. Uh, sanitation of 3, sanitation of 23. So again, Rotomagus isn't quite as high as this, but um, it was still very much positive. One other thing that's happened that didn't happen last time out was we were attacked by the Junior Huns. They sent an army up into Britannia Superior and immediately declared war. But this is where I'm. Uh, well, this is my home defence army, but this is where we're recruiting fresh troops. So I was able to deal with their small army, uh, I think 15, 16 units, straight away. Okay, so that's a recap of where we are. I've actually noticed we take to research, and it's going to probably be weapon manufactories. Yep, extra equipment capacity. We can get that done. Everyone's moved. You're recruiting. Yep. And this is one of the armies that fought down here. Who was it? Was it the Jutes that appeared down here with consumption? Anyway, uh, we've got Geats, no, Jutes tank uh, hemmed in up there. A couple of reasonably strong armies. There's another Jute army up here. These two armies attacked Colonia Agrippina, suffered a defeat, which was again is pretty much in line with the first run through. Okay, so that's all done. Uh, the other thing that is the same as it was before, power has plummeted. Uh, Magnus Maximus is unpopular, so his influence is declining every turn. All we can get influence from is his wife. She's doing her best to secure loyalty of all the, the generals and governors. Her son is 13, but even we know that even when he becomes an adult, he's not going to contribute to this uh, power of our faction either. Right. Let's move on then. <laughs> I may have known. Marcus Arius Lepidus, governor of Britannia Superior. Uh, Britannia Superior, let's have a look. Um, you get wealth through animal husbandry, commerce, a bit of culture, animal husbandry. It's very much where we make our cash up here. So I don't think... Actually, I should have done this. Uh, there's nothing in here that would give you any sort of bonus to uh, animal husbandry income. 
Replenishment's only for the commanded force. I want to get you swapped out for somebody else at some point. Actually, actually, let's have a look at that. Who do we have available down here? Champion rider, a leader, and a political animal. Personal influence and authority. Champion rider. No, so there are no decent governors in there either. All right. Uh, we'll give you a point in here and public order is usually a bit of an issue in Britannia Superior, I think due to immigration. So we'll take ducks. And there we get plus one public order from authority already. That's the other thing, we could have gone for another point in here. But that's just plus one public order as opposed to the two there. Okay, now we can move on. Uh, the Swabians have recently come in to the war against us. Caledonians, uh, are you a horde? Yes. So you're unlikely to have any cash, but if I could get you to join the war against um, yeah, the Junior Huns or the Jutes, that would be great, but let's see if we can get a wee bit of money from you. Nope. Fair enough. I think the Caledonians have lasted longer this time than they did the first run through. Same sort of thing happened with the Caledonians, etc. They sent armies across onto the continent, don't like that, to prosecute their war against uh, the Western Roman Empire. Um, and uh, I attacked them when their back was turned. All right. Fairly strong, well, strong, high quality units. Not the strongest in here, they've got a few mercenaries. Same up there. Okay, fair enough, let's fight. I'm a bit surprised that that army that was to the north of Belgica was able to slip past my two armies that were at river cro or near enough river crossings, slipped through their zones of control. Don't know why I'm surprised that the AI army was, was able to do that. Right, where are you? Here. Okay, uh, we've got one barricade. I don't like the barricades around here. We've got this one, which is to prevent folks from landing here, crossing the bridge and going up in that direction, rather than protecting our bank door. And we've got this one over here, which is a bit useless when you've got all of this. So, I'm just going to do that then. Stakes, as usual, we'll have up around there. And another one in here. And then we don't know what other side they're coming in from. Okay, well they're likely to come down here, either from there, maybe from over there as well. So let's throw in some stakes around here. Like that. And we'll put in some brimstone pits around this area as well. Something like that. That'll do. Okay, don't like having to put our general unit in the front line, but. I don't think we've got any choice, really. Let's have you across there. Uh, 
No, I think we'll keep the general back actually. And there in to Stiddle. And then what we'll do is have Uh I suppose I've got a reinforcing army coming in from somewhere as well. Could you cover that whole area? You can. Okay, you can stand there. We'll have these guys into Studle Bank. Actually, let's put you a bit further forward. You went to Studle when the battle starts. Uh, and that's everyone near grouped up. These guys here. I think they'll probably be able to stand themselves. So we'll put this... In fact, you can come in here as well. We'll march you out when we need to. General, stand just in there. Let's put our crossbowmen... Uh, yeah, let's put our crossbowmen there. Of you up there. Actually, actually, could you come off of there? Oh, we're doing this. Um, doesn't like placing units. Thing. Let's have you there. you in there. We'll put these slingers up there. Put those slingers there. Uh, you're ready. These archers. Just somewhere in there is fine. <laughs> I suppose it's possible they're coming from across the bridge. In fact, did they not have... Did they not have two armies come down this direction from across the river? That's the army that slipped past our... Um, armies that are trying to bottle them in. I was thinking about maybe having the cav outside there, pulling it across there for safety. But instead, I think we'll have you there, medium melee cav, and light melee cav, we may as well just stick inside. You can just stay there on your own. Right, I think we're good to go then. Uh, keep these guys on shoot at will. Why not? And let some few switch to flaming shot though. Can we see the reinforcements now? My troops are coming in though. And let's get... Oh. Onagers, I was going to say, but they're not coming on quickly enough. Let's get you forward. Uh, don't run. These guys should be able to hold off for a while. Onagers. Onagers. Try and push your way through to there. And is that the extent of my army? Oh, I suppose the rest of the army down here was just being recruited, wasn't it? Hmm. That's not so good. You head for there. What's happening? Okay. 
Don't know where their cav is. Still don't know where the reinforcements are. But hopefully we'll set some folks on fire over here. We have sighted the enemy. Here comes our general. He's eager to charge into these stakes. General, down to about 50% from the first set of stakes. Down to 20. Excellent. We don't even have to put you into square. Okay. These are not reinforcements, these are the um, just the units that came down this flank from over there. I wish I had the archers that could shoot poison arrows. Mind you, these guys aren't the strongest anyway. Here comes some more cav. I guess that's where the reinforcements are coming from. I think we'll have you switch to standard shot. Targeting those guys over there. Can you target them as well? See if we can break them. The general's still not broken. Getting there, right, they're done. I switch now to here. Doesn't look like they're actually shooting at them. Not yet, anyway. Target the cav. That looks like another general, so I definitely want to try and take him down. Oh, we've got lots of cav. I should have put you in square after all. So smug. Um, right. Shattered them. Onagers. You just target there. Yeah, don't shoot it well. As soon as you can, you get into action. I think we'll have missile troops come forward, stay in skirmish mode. Yet you're dying on spikes, some of you are. Let's see this general's unit die. Okay, target. Then we've got a better angle on them. And you as well, why not? Still get infantry coming in and coming in over there. We'll keep our cav back for now. Siege artillery, I gave you orders. Why are you not carrying them out? Let's get to there, that's fine. And these guys here probably want you head up and behind. Oh, we've got folks coming across here. Damn it, run away. No, come out this way. Let's get you down into there. Let's get you up on the walls here. The enemy is upon us. At the wall. I didn't put a unit up there, but it doesn't look like I need to right now anyway. You stand there. Take 
You're shooting good stuff. It's not often you use, you get to use your onagers in a uh, siege defence when you're reinforcing army. Right, they're suffering nicely. Let's see if we can redress this line slightly. Are you... Are you out of ammo? You are. Fair enough. In that case... Yeah, you come back in here. Just stop you appearing as targets. They're still standing strong. Shoot them. Yeah, let's get those archers away from the melee combat, please. Shoot them too. You don't need to do that, just stand where you are. Let's get these stingers to come down about here. Maybe better. Right. Um, you get along there. Onagers shoot into the back of that clump. Now we can use this cav. Gonna attack there. A unit has fired all of its ammunition. Let's see this um what do you call it? Scatter new bit of shot coming in. Crossbowmen are shooting them from the flank. Here it comes from the Onagers here. Right. Infantry, you need to come forward. Yeah, you all shoot at them. Cav at that other band of archers. You don't need to be running. Uh, right. Crossbowmen there. You in behind. And you can all shoot at will. Yep. Right, Cav, you've done your business there. Could you just gather your breath? There we are. All right, Onagers, I want you to be moving forward then. Uh, we'll have this infantry come up here and you can come up here as well. Oh. Do you know, if these guys are going to come all the way up, let's have you turn back. And we'll have you uh, stay there with them. You can carry on up into there. We've actually got a few units coming this way. So, Onagers. Could you shoot at them as well? 
cav. Yeah, come out. Attack them. Run them down. They were coming towards my missile troops, but they changed their mind. Focus on them. Shoot them in the back. Nice. Onigers. Back onto that unit. Which unit is that? Oh, these guys. Okay, you can pull back out to there then. Cav chasing down four men, 49, 46. Go for the 71. Right, Onagers. Come over here. Ballastari, come over here as well. These guys, there were only, what, 27 and 42 left. Shouldn't have to worry about them. Could even bring this infantry unit forward as well. Right, here we're going 21 to 46, 49. I think we're just going to leave them. Cav, you could actually come back here. We'll get you to charge into the back of them. I don't know where you're going. We'll put you up here just now. I think that's maybe causing you some problems. Okay, this cav here, you're still fresh. Go into the back of the wig Vigman. Uh, don't shoot at will. Keep coming forward. In fact, stop, keep coming forward. Shoot them while they advance. You can come round. Yeah, you can come round here. And this other unit can come and stand in there. You making this attack yet? Yeah, go after that unit still. These guys will probably break. In sympathy. these guys didn't break after all. One of them left, stayed standing strong. Uh, no, you don't do that. Cav, get away from there. Right, and you attack them. Let me just stay up here for now. Finally. Right. Turned away. Turn back, shoot them. 
and you don't need to run again, they're taking their time. Let's bring the cav around here. At the trot, well, just at the walk actually. I could even bring this cav out. Keep heading back. You get through there. You up through here. That speed now, just because this is a wee bit concerning. This shouldn't breaking. You turn and shoot them. War cry. Shoot. No. Don't shoot. Right, let's have the, this infantry come and deal with them then. If you're up there. Right. Let's get you into a shield wall actually. There. Whoops. Let's get you forward. Well, actually, just come on. There, into a shield wall. You come back here for now. You're going to attack. They're going to go. Get you back around here. That small unit of cab up there. Where's the other one? You still chasing somebody down? Who are you? Oh yeah, I pulled you back because you've got no ammo left. That cab, I don't know what the hell you're doing up there. Idiots. Sometimes this game, if there's a stupid way to do something, it does it. Okay. You with disengage, get back to attack these guys from the back. Let's bring you up. Get in behind them. Are you out of ammo? No. Do you have? You says you've got ammo. Charge them. You go and attack them. One of are in position. I'd completely forgotten about them. Right, you form up, so you pull back a bit, you still standing strong, you are, I so saw these guys unfortunately and my crossbowmen are back in the fight, could you come down there, uh, break them, get rid of them. This cav here needs to be out just to there. In fact, you're going to have to wait here until that unit's gone. Go to Standard round. And I know that we're probably going to get some rounds falling in there. Like the very first one did. 
Now that's much worse accuracy than the uh, numerous shot. Okay, we'll keep going until they're out of ammo. What we could do is have you go and attack them. Let's pull you back out of the way. Right. Down up here. So you can come forward. The cav can come forward. Still got plenty of stakes around here, so we need to be careful if we do send that cav in to attack. This cav down here can get into the flank up there. But obviously not for a while. Who have we still got? Alright, these are the two units that came in. No slingers. Come and stand up there despite the dangers from the onagers. And this unit can come out. This calf is meant to be coming forward. I'm pretty sure I gave you orders to come up here. Right. Okay. Stand there. Okay, shield wall, shield screen for you. Uh, you're in shield wall, you get into shield screen. Yeah, these guys are obviously taking some fire from the onagers. Let's have this unit form up in here and you can start hopefully throwing some pillar or something into javelins or whatever you've got into the flank there okay shield screen Equities promote, you want to head out through there. They're staying put for now. Uh, issue it. Come forward. Let's get you through there. Still eager, unfortunately. Balistari, come here. And we'll just shoot into the back of that unit. Right, are you... Are you too far away? Do you have... Some very short range missiles. Or can you not throw the missiles when you're in that shield screen? There we go. That's a problem. Enjoy. You go back to shoot it well. No niggers are done. 
Who's running is that? Uh, the uh, Stingers, I think. No, you're out of ammo. Yeah, right. Out the way. Shooting that 46 wavering main. And let's get you in here. You're out of ammo, so let's have you come over there. You still get some ammo. You can come forward. You, no ammo. You're out now. We want you forward to there. Nice fresh unit. And stay back here. Don't get in these guys' way. They're going to break, actually. General, get over there. Double time, indeed. I really thought we may have made some inroads into the back of these guys by now. Let's get you forward to there. You crossbowman, you should be back out of the way, you can come forward. No, seriously, you can come forward. It's ridiculous. You shoot it well. I do apologise, you should have been doing that the second you got here. Alright, General, you've managed to restore their morale. So actually, let's have you in a nice shield wall in behind. to go and charge into anybody yet. What have we got? Right, they're wavering. Can't see what any of them are doing. Some steady shaking, find a shaking one. There. You had the shaky ones as well. You, General. No. You. Take them. I thought that was... Why is my General back here? He's supposed to have formed up in there. Never mind. Break them. Let's just send everyone into the back, including the general and our cav. Into the back of that confident unit. That's only the garrison, hopefully. Okay, good charge, good damage, pull back out, you can do that again. Units 
can no longer fire. Everyone just get involved now. Cav, another attack on this unit. Good stuff, we've got some wavering happening. Come down here this time. You are still fresh. There we go. Broken unit. Hit the shaking unit there, right in the middle. Uh, just, just tired. You're winded. going. Cav, back in, bringing this other unit in with you. There we are, good enough. And now we've got lots of breaking happening up there. There we go. The end of the battle. Victory. This is your day. It's a long one. Got there in the end. And that should be the end of the Jutes as a significant force for a while. At the cost of mostly garrison troops. Some mercs left. One unit in there. A few units in there. We lost one unit of mercs plus men. Plenty of men in there. Take on warriors. Off you pop. Definitely kill you this time. Right. Out here in the North Sea, there were. Um, a couple of armies, uh, Geats, I think. So we still need to worry about them. They're probably going to come up and hit Britannia Inferior again. So this army down at Camulodunum is going to have to head north. Well, the Angos are heading for Flevum. No, are they? Or have they brought both armies down towards Colonia and Grippina? I've got spy somewhere, northern. Belgica that I can bring over into Frisian and have a look. Okay. One, two, three generals deceased, not the best. Disease spreads to Augusta Trevororum from Duracaturum. Spread to Colonia Agrippina from Augusta Trevororum uh, to Duracatorum from Augusta Trevororum. It's ridiculous. It just cycles round and round um, Duracatorum twice from Augusta Trevororum, three times from Augusta Trevororum. Okay, current power's down at nineteen percent. But yeah, I, I think I'm going to give it a few turns. But if the consumption doesn't clear up quickly, then I'm just going to bring the campaign to an end and do something different because I'm not getting into the same cycle of nonsense that we had before. Right. Anyway, let's see to these armies. But we'll do that in the next part, obviously. You've completed your recruitment for now. You're going to head. Yeah, there they are. I'm uh, heading for either Boracom or Lindum again. 
So we may need to send these troops up. In fact, we will send those troops up. But as I said, next time. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please leave me a comment, rate the video, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content, and I hope to see you again next time. Cheers.